Alright, I'm making pretzels and I'm starting off by mixing yeast with some warm water and honey and salt. And I'm using Alton Brown's really really old recipe for pretzels. It's the one I used back then too, so I I knew it was good. Unfortunately, uh, I've decided to buy some King Arthur flour, which which I think is the flour preferred by Americans, but I've actually never used it before this point, and it causes some um, some mishaps. But anyways, I uh, after mixing the yeast. I just let it sit for about 15 minutes, and this is warm water, about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And if your yeast isn't dead, uh, you should be, you should see uh, some bubbles and maybe um, the yeast clumping up together and, and frothing. And this is some sped up footage, but you could see them forming a, a very very slowly to the top. And I actually, I hate baking at home, but if I am forced to bake something, I think I like making pretzels because it's something that tastes good by itself. And even if I make a lot, I could eat it in like two days, three days maybe. And the only thing that differentiates pretzels from other bread is lots of melted butter in the the dough. And that's what I'm holding on my left hand. And I'm just going to mix it in. And this bowl is way too small for 22 ounces of uh, flour, but I might it work. And after I mix the dough in the bowl and it kind of comes together, I take out a cutting board and I, I put it on the cutting board and start kneading. I was not used to the flour being this soft, and I think it absorbs water really, really quickly. Um, I've used terrible gold metal flour my whole life, and so it was just much easier to knead a uh, very tough, tough dough compared to a dough like this. Um, I did slowly incorporate more flour in it, but I still think I needed a little bit more. And there is a lot of kneading footage. This is not even all the kneading footage. I did <laughs> maybe 15 minutes of lazy kneading and then uh, 20 minutes of actual kneading. I think it needed 15 more minutes to get that chewy consistency uh, at the very end. But I was in a rush. I was making these pretzels to take to my friend's uh, birthday at uh, some park. And so after I was done kneading, all you do is you oil uh, the bowl and leave it to rest for 50 minutes to one hour uh, and it should grow uh, double in size maybe. And yeah, this the second part is the the actual kneading. And yeah, I go to add a little bit more flour sometimes. Man, I I do not understand why people like watching uh, baking videos because they're my least favorite cooking videos. It's just so slow, and it's just. Uh, lots of kneading. I guess it's much easier if you have a machine that does this for you with the hook attachment. And after it's all done, I take it out, 
and I deflate the initial error uh, built in and I shape it into a log as best as I can. Uh, I realized I put away the scale and I was too lazy to <laughs> take it out again so I just cut it into eight pieces as best I could. I use a knife here, but actually I should have used a pizza cutter. I always forget I have it. Or maybe, I don't think it's a pizza, maybe it's a ravioli cutter or something, a small pizza cutter. And I go for a cut right down the middle, and then four cuts across. And then after that, I start to roll out my pieces, and I should not have, um, Taking the cut dough and put it all in the bowl because they just start merging into one big piece. Alton Brown suggests rolling it out two feet, and I think my cutting board across is maybe only a few inches above one foot. So, yeah, I make I make mini pretzels. Uh, they still puff up um, post boiling and in the oven, so it's fine. There's many ways to um, make that pretzel shape, but I do the simplest one where you just twist it before uh, connecting the ends. And the only thing left to do is to boil them in baking soda water. And the, bo bo <laughs> the boiling time for my pretzels were very inconsistent, so some of them boiled for their, a minute, others uh, maybe 45 seconds at total time. And I'm, make, I'm making a mess in my kitchen, it's baking soda all over my stove. And the only other thing I need for prep is an egg wash, which is just egg yolk, tiny bit of water, uh, beaten together. And after the, your pretzels are boiled, just glaze over the egg wash. And as you can see here, the, the pretzels have puffed up post boilage. And then get the biggest salt uh, you have and sprinkle over the top. And my pretzels were maybe a little a little bit um, bland because Malden salt, it looks big, but it's actually not a lot of salt. Um, Normally you'd just use regular rock salt. And I finish up the last four uh, pretzels uh, exactly the same way. And don't use your hands. Uh, I somehow did not burn my fingers at all, but don't use your hands. <laughs> Alright, and then I just put them in a very hot oven, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And mine were very small, so they took maybe 11 minutes, 12 minutes-ish, and uh, I let them cool on a white rack uh, as much as I can. Uh, I am just cutting it right on time <laughs> to finish these pretzels and go to the park, so... They're still a little bit steaming when I put them in the container. And I also forgot to bring mustard to the park, but usually I would eat this with mustard. And I like any mustard except French's mustard. 
I'm sorry, Heston. Then after they're done, I put them in little uh, aluminum foil pouches so people can use them. Although I don't think <laughs> I don't think anyone actually did. Um, and yeah, I was in a rush. I actually forgot to take off my GoPro, uh, and you can see here I have changed my clothing. So after I'm done doing this, I can just run out. <laughs> I removed the GoPro from my head and I put it in my uh, jacket uh, coat. Or my jacket pocket, I mean. And yeah, um, thank you for listening to me ramble and have a nice rest of your day.